Good afternoon, everybody. It's getting close to the holidays, and I don't know about you, but sometimes there are people that are very, very hard to buy for. So today I wanted to go through a little tutorial to show you how to make these little gift card holders that you can put your gift cards in to give to people. And then you've not only given them something, but you've made them something as a nice little gift as well. So these are the ones that I am, uh, this is the basic shape that I'm gonna show you how to do. And as you can see, when you pull off the band here, you can open it up. There's a little to from in there. And then this is a pocket, so you can take your gift card and slide that right in there. And there it is. And then you can put your band back on and do your gift giving. So stay tuned, here we go. All right, so let's first start with the supplies that you're gonna need to make this gift card holder. First thing is your base piece. And now the base piece, you're gonna to wanna to cut to eight and a half by three and a half inches. And then for the designs, so let me just show you one here. So on my base piece, I have these two sort of smaller pieces that give us our design. You're gonna cut those. One of them is going to be, let me just go ahead and quick measure them here. One of them's gonna be three and one quarter by one and three quarters inches. And the other one is going to be three and a quarter inches by two and a quarter inches. And the reason they're kind of a little bit wonky compared to our base size is because we want this to have a nice little uh, border around there for us. So that's why the sizes are what they are. And then the last piece that's optional, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, this could be for the to and from on the inside of the card. And so that's gonna be the same as your smaller piece for the design which is three and a quarter by one and three quarter inches. So that's those pieces. And then for your band, this is just a three quarter inch by 10 inch piece of cardstock. And then for the decoration on the front of my band, um, I used a two inch circle for the base and then a one and three quarter inch circle for the top. Now, once we get to doing this, I'll show you some other options that you can use for your top if you don't have something like this or you don't have the sizes. And we'll get to that when we get to it. All right, let's talk about the tools that you're gonna need to make the gift card. So the first thing is a cutter. You certainly don't need this, but it's nice because it helps you measure very easily and cuts real nice edges for you. So um, I find this very handy. Um, and then also you can have a ruler. I don't think I really use this because most of my other tools had, you know, ruler <laughs> rulers on them. But if you don't have some of these other tools and need to measure a ruler, obviously will come in very handy. This is an um, embossing board. So this is gonna help us make our, our fold marks exactly where we want to make them. And oh, that comes with a um, paper folder, I think that's what this is called. So that little tool in there will help us make the marks in our paper. And then I have a two inch hole punch for my design. And once again, we'll talk about um, some options for those. And then um, I have some craft glue here, which I love to use. Um, it's really good on paper. It gives you a little bit of time to maneuver things around, but then it's also very strong. It dries clear. Um, it's, it's great stuff. And then also a corner rounder, if you like. You don't have to have one of these, but if you wanna do some of the round designs, as you see here on the flap, having a corner rounder will help you do that as well. And that's basically it. All right, let's get going. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna take your base card and you want to score it so that we know where to make our folds at. Now I'm gonna use this board here to help me make those marks, but if you don't have a board, you can use your ruler and your base card once you measure it out and the back of a 
um, paintbrush can work well. Just something with um, a small round tip that you can use. Um, you can make your mark and then use your paintbrush to make your fold lines. Just be careful because sometimes the ends of these paintbrushes are a little bit raggedy and you don't want to tear through your paper. So, but this is an option if you don't have some of these other tools. Um, okay, so if you do have an embossing board, what you do is you take your right side up. So, for example, if I was going to be making a gift card holder out of this material, I would want to mark it with the right side up. So this is the wrong side. I'm going to use it at the right side up. And the reason we do that is because when you make the fold line, if you fold it the um, opposite way, it could start to tear. So I'm not, I don't know if you can see this real well, but I did this on the wrong side. And when you fold it over, it actually starts to tear the material and you don't want to do that. All right, so we've got our base here and I've got my right side up. I've decided what side I want to be the right side on this uh, um, just cardstock here. And then you're going to make marks at two inches. So at your two inch mark, just make a light fold mark there. And then also at six inches, you're going to make a nice fold mark there. Okay. Once you have that marked in, let me get this out of the way here. Then you're going to fold with your right sides out. And the other thing that you can do, which I like to do after you kind of get the fold started, you take your bone folder, that's what it's called, your folder there, and you just kind of mush them down a little so that you have a nice fold. And you can see this fold is much better on the outside um, with the right side out there. Okay, our next step then is we're going to glue on the squares and that's easy enough. So you take your, all your, your squares out. I'm going to take my 3-in-1 beacon glue here. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on these pieces. It doesn't have to be too much. And these pieces can be cardstock or paper. Um, if you use just plain, um, you know, like scrapbook paper or something that isn't real heavy, you may want to use some of the tape glue um, or maybe a stick glue or something like that. This really doesn't show marks, but if you just want to be sure, you could use something else. This glue does really well though, I think. So I'm just holding it on there for a minute and you can see I kind of just eyeballed it and put it on there to give my nice little border all around the outside edge. And I even just moved it a little because I saw that it wasn't quite right. And now I'm going to do the upper flap. And actually, before I do this, I'm going to make the rounded edges just so you can see how that's done. So um, this flap is going to come up and I want this upper flap to be rounded. So I'm going to take my corner rounder and just on the top corners here, I'm going to round them out. And now for the piece that I'm going to put on it, I'm just going to round two edges along the long side, one long side. So you can see that and now it matches my flap there. So let me go ahead and put some glue on this one and we'll get that one on. And you can see if you have the pieces cut, it really does come together very quickly if you get everything ready and together there. And here we go with our top flap piece. And once again, I'm going to lay it on and just eyeball it there for a nice border around and just let it sit for just a minute to grab. And look at that. We're almost there. Well, not almost there. And then what we have to do is we actually have to make our pocket. So this is um, an easy way to do it. We're just going to put a bead of glue down each side of the bottom flap as close to the edge as possible. But this is um, this gift card size is enough to really give you enough room that if you, you know, moved in too much, you'd still be okay. So you can see I just put a little line of glue down each side. And once again, I'm just going to fold it up and hold it. Give it a minute to grab. And then we should be good to go. And I'm not going to play with that too much because I, I want it to make sure it dries well, but I still will move on to the next step. So the next step would be if you're going to use a to and from card on the inside, like these have, they have a little to and from um, that you can put on the upper flap. 
you can um, do that with your extra piece. Now, once again, because we rounded, I need to go ahead and round the upper corners of this one. And you can see I don't have the to and from on this one, um, but I think I was, I was thinking about writing it on with some nice glitter pen or something like that to make it look nice or maybe use a stamp. But that I can do later. So we'll put some glue on this one. And same thing, give it a little eyeball and then move it around quickly if you need to do that. Hopefully I've been in view here. And we've got that on. Now, the next thing is to put, make our band um, that goes around the outside. Now, when I, you can mark this using your embossing um, tool if you would like to do that, but I find that it works better if you just wrap it around because then you know you have the right size and it won't be too tight. So there was one that I had done. Let's see if I can find it. Actually, this one looks like it might be, this one is really tight because I think I marked it. I didn't just wrap it around. So this one's really tight, almost too tight. So I think it's better to kind of mark the middle here and then make sure it's straight. You don't want a crooked fold. And then just fold the top up and fold the bottom up. And they should meet around the back, which they do. And then you can glue them in place as well to make our band. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue, maybe an inch or so long on one side so that I can just lay this against it and have our band. So once again, I'm just gonna hold it for a second to make sure it sticks for me. And then our band is ready. And um, you probably wanna make sure this is dry and you can just see I had a little glue that sort of smushed out of the side there. So be careful putting it on and off of your gift tag until it's completely dry. You don't want to um, get wet glue along you know, your, your gift card there. So we're gonna kind of let that dry to the side and we'll talk about our um, decoration for a minute. So what I had said before is I have a two inch circle and then a one and three quarter inch circle so that we have once again that nice little border that goes around the inside. But certainly you don't have to do this at all. You could, um, you could just put a little bow. Now this one's kind of big, but I know that you can buy those little tiny bows. They're so adorable. You could just put those right on the band and that would be super cute as um, a little gift there. You could put some, um, if, if you had one circle maybe, if you only have one size circle punch, you can just, you know, put some decoration on there. You could put some stickers on there. There's all kinds of different little things you can buy, just cute little things, and I, I'm sure these didn't even cost that much, that you could just make a little collage right on that one circle. You could use some stamps, so you could, if you had some stamps and some ink, you could place your stamps right on there. Or if you didn't wanna do the to and from, you could put your to and from right on there and use that as your decoration, to and from right on there. So that's it, and I think now, this is probably dry and you can see I've got my gift card. I'm going to slide that right in there. Isn't that cute? And then we're going to put the band on. And I didn't glue the circle on yet because I didn't really decide what I was going to do. I think the bow, if I had a little white bow, I think that would be perfect on there. So I think that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to do that a little bit later. But I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks a lot.